go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to what has become affectionately known as Randy's Greenhouse Rants. Um, I would have chosen a different name, but I didn't choose it. Um, we talked last week about some of the things that we were doing at the garden, and we started on the outside, and I wanted to remind you that the greenhouse, if you look up there, the solar panel that we had, I said the off-grid water system didn't use electricity, and it's not true. It does use electricity. It uses electricity from the sun. <laughs> How cool is that? How cool is that? I love it. There's room for one, two uh, more panels of that size up there. And there's room for more solar panels elsewhere here and in the world. We're going to start up a business doing that. How cool is that? We're going to install solar systems. <laughs> I love it. We worked on the plants uh, today, cleaned out a lot of the weeds. And this one's growing to, to lay out over here. So it's easier for the neighbors to pick it and so it won't crowd the other food we're doing. And remember, if last week all the lamb's quarter was in there, it's all gone. And we've uh, got tomatoes and peppers ready to go. These are all one kind. One kind. Um, as far as I know, they're all um, sweet banana peppers. Cool, huh? Neighborhood loves them. Neighborhood loves them. So that's what we got going on outside. Um, get a little weeding up here. Put a little more mulch on. So I keep the neighbors happy. They care about things I don't like that. I don't care about that. Um, and used up some of the wood chips we had, so we're moving along with decorating for the community, so to speak. Oh, not just that. Not just that. When I put wood chips down, I left the dandelions. They got so much easier to harvest than normal. I mean, if you fight with a dandelion root, ah, plant them in mulch, and you can pull them out and make the tea out of them with half the work. It's cool. It's How do you cool make the tea? Uh, you, put, you wash the dandelion roots, you chop the, uh, the, the roots up uh, fairly finely, and then you boil it. Clean them up, get them as clean as you can, um, chop them up, and boil it. And the more bitter it is, the better it is for you. Great. Sometimes hard to drink because it's bitter. Uh, folks have been coming in and scoring the lettuce, and that's great, and the tomato. Oh, remember last week when you were here, there was a gazillion pepper plants? Mm -hmm. They're gone. There's like six or seven left. And now what you see in this place is tomato plants because that's And remind us where they went to? The pepper plants? Yes. Oh, a community garden over on the east side, we put in about 250. Uh, a community garden up on the north side of Youngstown and a private citizen who wanted to plant a, sh a mess of um, pepper plants. And, um, geez, I don't remember. I stopped Can them I on the street and gave it to you. Can I your hat off? I'm getting some oh, yeah. shadow. Is that okay? Yep, that's good. All right. I don't want to lose my hat. It's one of my favorites. It's from St. John's and the Virgin Islands. I have very fond memories, memories of a trip there. Okay, so we have the pepper plants, um, more tomatoes. Some of them I have no idea what they are. Some of them I do know, and so that's what's happening. You mean the kind of tomatoes they are? Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're volunteers. Um, most of the stuff in here is ready to take. Like you can see over there, that pepper plant's got a sign in it that says take. The lamb's quarter behind it has a sign that says take. Um, one or two of the buckets have don't take because we want to use those to give food away. Okay. You know, when we do the food not bombs thing, we're probably going to need some fresh tomatoes, and so I want to save some of that for that. Every one of those is a cherry tomato, my favorite. My favorite. Um, so that's kind of what's going on. Isn't that amazing? Lamb's quarters. I love lamb's quarter. It's delicious. I know I told you that last week too, but it is. It's true. Eat your weeds, people. Eat your weeds. Uh, water system still running fine. Let's go inside and look at one of the, one or two of the things for the um, solar system. Okay. Can you get a shot of that light, Joe? Yep, got it. All right. Yeah, that's that's the um, lighting system for in here, and you would be absolutely amazed how much that. And maybe a, an independent lamp does the trick for this room. And that's completely solar powered. That's right. That's completely off grid. Completely off grid. We have uh, another one. This is uh, Occupy Youngstown Library. Just give them a quick shot of that, Joe. You have to water your mouths for another video on the library at some future date. But now, you don't get to see. It's another <laughs> video. Um, again, the solar lights, another one here. Gives a good bit of light off. Okay, it's nice, fantastic. more than enough. Get another one in uh, in that bedroom, another one in that bathroom, and then uh, in the kitchen, another one in this room. 
in the kitchen, I left this light on. Should have done that. Uh, drains the system for no good reason. This is the control panel for the, the solar system. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, a 12 volt system and sometimes it charges up past that, which is where it is now, it should be draining off, which is a good reason to leave the light on. Um, you can see this funky colored tube coming out of the solar system uh, control panel. It uh, charges phones. You just plug this in and it cooks water. Fantastic. Uh, um, you want to read out how much is in the system, you just turn the system that way. There should be a phone on this right now, but it's being used to record this video. <laughs> yep. So this video is solar powered. It is cool, indeed. Eh? Cool, eh? All right. One last thing to show you about this uh, solar system in the basement. How are we doing for time? Um, we're at six minutes. Oh, we got plenty of time. That's cool. You want me to turn some lights on down? Yeah. Here? See I'm if we can get something going. Getting into shadow here. Okay. Um, well then maybe we can't do this down here. Let's let's give it a try. Okay. Maybe we can. What I want you to see if you can get a shot of is this panel up here. Come around the front. See if you can get a shot of that panel. Okay. Yep. You got see it. What the sign says is occupy off the grid. This is the brains of the solar system. And I can't talk about it because I'm not smart about this stuff. What I can tell you is that smarter people than me put together. Okay. Um, batteries for storing uh, electricity over here. An extra uh, control panel module or two. Uh, we have two other systems to install. And those are the things to put them up with. But anyway, there's the panel. Okay. And there's auxiliary equipment. And down there on the floor, can you see it, Jeff? Just see the yellow top and the red clamp. See that thing down there? Yeah. That's that's the big battery. That's what stores up most of the electricity. Okay. And that's the off-grid solar system. Um, it's going to expand in its functions to uh, put a blower system on over here in the heating chamber. Uh, let me get the flashlight that moves. Okay. That'll make it better. The electrical system here has limited lighting capacity, and so we put most of what would have been a ceiling lamp or, or a ceiling light or a lamp on a table on a cord instead so that it can be located perfectly. So that way I can show you some things in here. Okay. Where, had I not had this done this way, I wouldn't have been able to do it. It's cool. Um, how's your light? Well, check out this. Okay. Cool. This, okay. Is, this is going to be converted into a 12 volt system that runs from here up to uh, the corner there. And then that, that will head up to the living room Okay. And out to the greenhouse. Fantastic. So we can run the heating system off a 12 volt system to blow air to the greenhouse in the wintertime. Fantastic. See, see how far we can go with keeping it warm. We also have got to cut something here uh, to send more heat through the house uh, in, a, in a more appropriate fashion. Um, we're also going to install one or two other um, pumps and fans kinds of things to improve conditions in the house. Um, so that's it. That's the story with the um, off grid. Uh, Occupy Young South. Occupy Warren. Randy's Rip in the greenhouse for today. Sorry we got off track. Oh, check this out. Recycle, reuse uh, political signs. Um, go get them after the election because you're allowed to. Um, I turn them inside out and look at that canvas. Look at that canvas. We're making a sign that says something like, Walmart cheats America. How would that be for a sign on one of those recycled political signs? That or or Occupy else. Youngstown Lives Here. Or Don't Frack My Home. Or Support the Community Bill of Rights. Now I understand why they call it a rant. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, I, go on, sometimes I go on a rant. We drained some of the system off a little bit. That's cool. Okay. That helps. Yeah, anyway, I'm done. Okay, thanks, Randy. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. <laughs>